YouTube, Assassinate17, and um, new video, I'm going to do an entire series on this, because a while ago, I did what was inside a PC, and the video wasn't that detailed, it was very, very, well, the camera was bad for a start, and the details, there were a lot missing, so I'm going to redo the whole thing, and I'm going to cover each individual component, um, and give as much details as possible, and I'm going to start with the motherboard, so, at the moment you see, this is the VGA port, it's an onboard display um, onboard display output that you get with almost every motherboard you'll get a VGA port now when it's in the when it's in the case it looks pretty big but as you can see it's pretty small the port and um, if I go back a little bit you can see that we've got um, an Ethernet port for your network connections and then we've got five USB ports and um, as well we've got five audio outputs and um, these normally you don't normally get five standard normally you might get just three you might normally get this three on the right you wouldn't normally get these two but I've got these two and um okay so that's what you get this is known as the input output panel this back panel because this is what you see at the back of your computer when it's all bolted in <coughs> And um, normally, when you buy your motherboard, you get a backplate that um, will fit on the back of the case that will <coughs> touch these little pins here. It'll touch all these so that um, so that the motherboard will be grounded to to prevent static buildup, etc. And there, are, there, this isn't the only way it does this. There are many other ways that I'm going to cover. <coughs> like, for instance. These screw holes are the way you screw the motherboard into the case, but if you notice, there's a metal ring around it, and that's another grounding mechanism. Um, yeah, those are on every motherboard screw hole on here. But, further back, we see the motherboard power supply. This is a 20-pin motherboard... Um, this is what the motherboard gets its power from and it will be hooked up to a 20 pin connector from a power supply and some motherboards now feature a 24 pin so it will be slightly longer but um, in, tho in those cases um, it depends because you can buy your power supply with 24 pin but it doesn't matter because the four extra pins come on a separate wire that you just clip on so it doesn't really matter if you bought a 24 pin power supply and you want to use it with a 20 pin motherboard Okay, um, over this is our IDE uh, port. This is where stuff like um, a CD drive will be connected to. This black thing with all the little pins. So a CD drive might be connected here, um, or something similar, maybe like, not probably a card reader. I'd say maybe, I don't know. But this is the IDE port with all these little pins. Now um, the flop, the one for the floppy drive is over here, and as you can see, this is a little bit shorter compared to the other one, and um, that will be connected to your floppy drive if you've got one still. Um, back over here, we've got two SATA ports, SATA data ports, and these are what modern hard drives now use to transfer data between the hard drive and the motherboard and all the other components, and. Um, over here this I've got like an IDE port for the front panel for all the lights and all the stuff on the front panel and including the USBs on the front panel as well that all gets hooked in through that but there are now there are different ways because this motherboard sort of old by now so there are different more modern ways and also bringing you back to the input out the panel you can see here there's a space where we've got two screw holes and some empty solder points if you read the label right underneath it, you'll see it says serial there. So this is where I can, perhaps if I wanted to, solder in another um, solder in another output to the motherboard, but I would not do that because it's it's risky. What else have we got? Um, oh yeah, got the battery for the motherboard. This is what keeps the BIOS clock ticking. And... Um, uh, if you want to reset the BIOS, that's what you do. You take this little battery out. Um, this runs for years, so you don't need to replace it that often. 
but it does happen rarely. Um, we've got our RAM slots right here. These are the things that you'll put your RAM modules into, and um, they either come in sets of uh, four or two, depending on the size of your motherboard. And you should always remember that even though these clips might be pushed in, your RAM module might not be seated properly. So you always need to, to double check and make sure it's properly seated.